Left of them are just beginning to pick up the pieces and begin the search for a new leader. Norman Lamb has thrown his hat into the ring. He joins us now from Norwich. Norman Lamb, a very good morning to you. Uh, there, there are some officials within Hello. the party, within the Liberal Democrats, who say it was such a bad night, an election night, that rebuilding the party and getting back to the kind of levels of parliamentary representation which you've enjoyed in recent years is not the matter of months or years, it's going to be the matter of decades. How can you accelerate that process? Well, I think actually these days politics is pretty volatile. Uh, the old days where people uh, voted according to what their parents did and so forth has long gone and now people behave as consumers. They look at what's on offer, they listen to the messages from the party leaders and they make a judgment as to whether those messages are compelling and whether it strikes a, a chord with them. So I think for us it must be about uh, telling people what our modern liberalism is all about and for me it's at its heart it's about trusting in people uh, taking power away from unaccountable institutions and giving it directly to people and I tried to apply those very strong liberal principles in my work in the Department of Health working on behalf of people with uh, severe and enduring mental health problems for example those with learning disabilities giving a voice to people who too often in our system have no voice at all uh, and I'm sort of impatient to tackle and challenge uh, injustice wherever I see it and uh, I think if we could get an authentic and strong liberal voice then I think we've got yeah. every reason to feel uh, optimistic about the future. Uh, can I just pick, on a, I'll pick up on a word you use there, impatience, because there, will, there might be some people looking at our interview this morning and saying this is impatience. Liberal Democrats have had a terrible night only last week the parliamentary representation reduced to such a level you only need to order a, a Ford Transit to take your MPs from one place to another. What they don't need now is to behave hastily. They need months of quiet reflection, going back to basics, all the rest of it. And throwing your hat into the ring, fine. Some people will look at your ministerial record and say, very capable man, but this is not something that needs to be done in haste. It will, is a matter of months. Well, it, it, it was for others to determine the uh, timetable for the leadership uh, contest, but I think the leadership uh, contest in itself gives the party the opportunity to debate uh, where we made mistakes, where we did the right thing, uh, but the lessons that we have to learn so that we can rebuild for the future. And in a sense, the election of a new leader is the start of the process. Uh, uh, all of the reflection and the uh, debate within the party and the rebuilding goes on well beyond that. Uh, uh, I, of course, I'm impatient for change. I, I, I'm uh, what I would regard as a conviction politician. I have very strong beliefs that I, and, and my whole purpose in going for the leadership is not because I've hankered after this job uh, forever and a day. I haven't. Uh, it's because I have strong beliefs about things that need to change. This central concept of trusting in people and okay. dispersing power. Uh, right. And I believe that in doing this job, I can further those objectives. Okay, Norman Lamb, we have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you. This is Sky News.